sometimes we mix love with work and uh, yeah but you don't listen to the things. advice yeah, of yeah. your friends exactly so when sometimes you get it you, you fall in love with people from the industry that instead of helping you more they actually back up your career and you don't realize until it's too late so that's a regret you know i dated told one me many times but you know when girls are in love they don't listen to nobody they don't listen <laughs> to their friends they only listen to their friends and to their lovers i'm here like don't do this don't do that blah, blah 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 and she's like yeah you're right and then she hangs up and she's like He's just jealous. <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe not the jealous part, but I, I might have been like, oh, yeah. But maybe this time is not like that. This time is different. I'm this like, time is different. Exactly. So, and you then, know, <laughs> I, I, I dated just one singer. Uh -huh. And then I was like, nope. Nope. You cannot mix. Like, you cannot mix On business and, and, and love. I mean, yes, that, I you, it, it, especially especially when it's like you can you can you can be with somebody in the industry if you guys don't work together. Yes. Now, when you start working together, the problem is not everybody I can, but not everybody is able to. When you are in the studio working, separate the things. Yeah. You have to separate. When it's when there's money involved, you have to separate. When you're fighting at home or you're fighting for whatever reason, and yeah. you have a studio session that is booked, and the person is telling you, "Oh, I don't want to sing your chorus or whatever because I don't like it," and you're like, "What? Sorry?" and and you can see that it has nothing to do with the the quality, but it's just because she's pissed. That's when I was like. I'm done. I'm done yeah, with it. Right? You love uh, yeah, yeah. That was like that was, and and it's funny because I've I've remember when um, in the beginning I was with a, a I was I was a backup dancer as well for a big artist in the West Indies. Uh, his 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 girlfriend was a singer as well, and I would mm -hmm. I would see the the the, the, the osmos between them, the connection, the way that they he would start a vibe, she would continue it. They would like I was like, oh my god, I want that. Yeah. When it works, I didn't it realize works. that it looks amazing until, but yeah, when people have like not. relationship <laughs> issues and they are not able to 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 separate them from from work, and and it's the same thing when when you become friends with your artist, when you have to tell them something that hurts, even if you you say it like, and me, I'm a person, I'm a, I'm a very direct person i have uh -huh. I'm, a di i'm i know i know how to be a diplomat but i i said i tell things how they are i'm not gonna lie to you and when you start telling people the truth about why you cannot pay your third video because they are not uh, generating enough money or something like that and then because you are their friend they forget that it is your business and that yeah. no, I'm not gonna put my business, uh, my business at risk, just because I'm your friend. You sold that amount of money. This equals to I can pay two videos. I paid two videos. Now, you want to do a third one? I can shoot it myself if you want. We do it like, you know, street, street, yeah. street gun way. I, I take my camera. Next time we have a show in the West Indies or somewhere in Portugal. We go to a beach, we go to the club, we find some some nice girls that we talk to, we take them and we offer them dinner or, 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 or I don't know, 30, 50, 70, we, we take money from the cashier, whatever, we, we, we pay them with that, but we're gonna do the video with, with 300 euros, let's do it. But no, I'm not gonna pay uh, that guy that costs 5,000 because in terms of numbers, we're done. Yeah. I'd rather pay yeah. a video for the next album that is coming in in a year or something. So start working on the album and whatever idea you have for this video, let's put it in, in, in the next songs. And sometimes, all of a sudden, they look at you like, yeah, you don't support me. What you mean I don't support you? I'm staying in the studio all night with you where I should be with my kids or my girlfriend or whatever yeah. I have situation and mm -hmm. I'm not supporting you because I... And, and that's the... 
that's the um, yeah that's the thing that it's it's part of the thing that made me stop uh, producing artists like careers because back in the days it would be a nightmare it would be a headache but every album would bring you 300,000 400,000 euros yeah today we're in the streaming world no, you're gonna have all not, the headaches totally different. Yeah, yeah. and then you're gonna make twenty dollars or thirty dollars from the song and and then they're like yeah what about my video and you're like pay it yourself and <laughs> be be your own producer see how you would see how it is and it's see how it's it is. um yeah, exactly. people sometimes it's, it's, don't it, have an idea of how much it costs yeah people don't yeah. realize only the people who and and i commend you for that because um I know I've known you for a long time and, and, and we talk, we talk, you know, we, we, we talk for a long time and, mm-hmm. and I talk, a lot of people talk to me about you as well. And a lot of, a lot of people sometimes are dismissive of, of, of you and of what you do. Mm-hmm. And, and I tell them, Hey, she pays for her own stuff. Like yeah. <laughs> all all these girls that you see oh. with their great videos, they don't pay for the videos. They don't pay for nothing. They just come and they they, they then they they yell that oh I'm not making money or whatever from my shows or whatever. Yeah, but you didn't pay. The person who pays makes the money. That's the a, a conversation that people never understand. They're like yeah, but why I don't make ninety percent of the money? I'm the singer because you didn't put ninety percent of the money. That's why you get ten percent. Exactly. And, and I have to commend you on that because uh, from all the things that I've seen you do uh, when you were like in one of your phases, because I know it goes in phases with you. Sometimes you yeah, you're in yeah. the music mm-hmm. thing and then sometimes you're, in, you're flying and sometimes you are sometimes in the, in the fashion, in fashion thing. But, going, yeah. but the great mm-hmm. thing about you is that you you put your money in it and you, you, work, you work on your things. And whether it works or not, it, it is it's always a success work. when you like it came out yes it came out you own it it's yours it's on your youtube channel etc etc and in 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 a world where everybody is talking about and uh, the conversation about ownership most of yeah, these they, artists most of them own nothing they don't they don't <laughs> they own nothing own nothing most, they just have their voice in somebody else's you know exactly video, and the product the product for, and, it's just my voice but it's not mine yeah and they start thinking about the business when they are 40 years old and they're like oh my god like oh i don't what i don't why why not because it's not yours it's never mine. Paid and, for anything. <laughs> yeah. and and a lot of people that i see conversation and and the fans because the fans are the fans and it's not their fault but a lot of the fans they love their artists but they have no clue what they're talking about and they hear yeah give her back her masters give her back her songs yeah it's, like, they it's don't not know. her songs <laughs> it's not her songs <laughs> it's her voice. composition yeah, exactly. it's her composition it's her writing but if you don't pay for the studio it's not your song it's not just it's song, the song exactly. that you wrote that you sing but if i want to take that song and if you want to take your whole album and make somebody else sing the song that you wrote you're gonna keep your your composition part. You're gonna keep your publishing rights, but I can't do it because it's my. Yeah. It's, it's like the producer has the right to do it. Yes, and exactly. It, it's it's a harsh reality in this the, the the music business where a lot of people are a lot of people are dreaming when they come to the music business because they want to think they think about like celebrity going there, people loving you, you know, being famous, etc. So they forget about. The Best most important part, which is the, yeah. the the business part, the money part, yeah. and and you uh-huh. you are I mean and you're not new in the business, so you no. you know how to be hands on on your things because probably mm-hmm. back in the days you maybe you made the, the same mistakes as, as everybody as we all do when we're young and we are dreaming, and uh, yes. I mean <sighs> I'm gonna have to. Like, yeah, you're not young in the business, but like, yeah, you do yes. some, you do some mistakes of little girls sometimes. Like, hey, you know, but yeah, it was always a challenge for me as well. You know, sometimes being pretty and all of this, a lot of people. I had so many offers in my life, as you mm-hmm. know, the 
when I was like, you know, really doing my things and working on my music, I had so many crazy offers of these people. I'm gonna produce you. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Come to a meeting. I'm gonna. They offer me the world and another world after that. But um, my experience always told me that that was just bullshit. All they wanted, and that's a big challenge that I always faced. It was this. All they wanted was me. They couldn't see me for any value, or a, they couldn't see my love for the music or my love for the art. All they wanted was this. So I didn't sell my soul. This was the price to pay. Yes, but I, is the, I never is did the it. price of the, the, the beauty that I'm proud of myself. I may not have the thousand views or the million views or whatever they call it to call it success. But I I never sold myself for none of it. Everything I've done, everything's my YouTube. Everything is in when I opened my store in Lisbon. That unfortunately, now I only have online yeah. because COVID. COVID ruined up. He ruined everything. But I'm going to yeah. open a new one, and the location is secret. <laughs> but it's coming. Yes. Okay. Um, because I love physical stores. I like the online, but I love the the being in there and doing the fashion thing. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's why my videos were so good because I put the visuals together so well. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but I never everything I've done, I did not corrupt myself with none of these guys that try and they know who they are if they're watching or they will be watching. Hey. Thank you. Hey guys, I feel pretty and beautiful. And I did it all, but without y'all. <laughs> so yes, I didn't need fuck to, you, to, fuck to you, sleep with no pompous nigga to do what I needed to do, you know? 